All right, happy day, guys. Frank, do you know what this is? This is the thing I've been waiting for, you guys. Please, you mouth. This is. Let me uh, scratch this out here real quick. Not that it really matters. Y'all know where I work, but still. Um. All right. This is from. ECU Masters. Now, this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. This is just the first of many upgrade parts for the Lexus to come. The capacitors are bad in the computer. So, we had to go ahead and just order one. Had to go ahead and just order one that was aftermarket because it was going to be a problem if I didn't. Could not find a... Hey, you got me. I don't get to open the toys. No, you don't get to open the toys. It's my toy. Can you open mine? Did not. Yeah, you did. You opened my Honda out of box. All right. So here we go. Whoop. A sticker. No sticker for the toolbox. Yeah. I'll put that on the car probably. All right. Let's see what we got here. The accessories. Now, again, I could not find a factory uh, SC300 five-speed computer anywhere. Not that it was really worth anything. So we got this right here just because... Bam. This is the connector to make my car work with the ECU Masters. We have a pen out description of everything that we need, which is awesome. This is cool. Keep and hold this guy over here. It's like Christmas time. I ordered it for, you know, the SC, but it says uh, on this, you know, uh, for a 2JD GTE Super, it better be for airheads. I mean, they hooking it up, man. And it's blue raspberry. That motherfucker's stale as hell. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we did go with the classic, only because I didn't really see a need for the black. Not that it's a bad one. I just, a couple more hundred dollars worth of what you got. Okay, here. This is my first time ever having a brand new computer. That thing's solid. Beautiful. Up. Now, if you look, it also comes with, if you didn't buy the patch harness, which I did, I uh, pre wired for the Toyota body, it'll come with pins. You get your data link connector cord. And then you have the, um, I think these aren't pins, these are connectors. Then you have the pins completely to wire this thing up, and they give you a chart on what each pin does what. It's laminated so you don't lose it. That way, you could wire it in your absolute self if you wanted to. Are you pleased with your packaging, sir? Is it, I, is it pleased? This is awesome. This is very, very awesome. What I also like is I didn't realize that it had that. Ooh, I almost dropped it. That can adapter for the dash, so you can um, hook in another cluster. Like if you want to do an aftermarket kind of thing. We might look into that because you know my stock one doesn't work. All right, well, we'll put all this back in the box for the time being, and then we'll go from there when we get this thing put in the Lexus so I can get a base map thrown on it and we can make it work. But I'm this, just glad well, look, to finally see it come in because my boy was waiting on this anxiously. Well, it has been days. I have been waiting days. Look at him popping it together. No more crazy fueling due to a bad. Capacitor. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. I'm excited. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. So time. ECU Masters, if you see this video, which you probably not because we, we got 350 subscribers. Let's be real here. But we got a little more than that, don't we? Not 350. Yeah. I love all 350 of them, even though most of them don't watch. I appreciate the ones we got. The ones that watch every video, you guys are the best. And I appreciate you. I'm excited about this. Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> Guys, this might be the raggediest Lexus to get a standalone in the history of ever. I pulled the stock computer back. Here it is. I do have the EMU plugged up and plugged in. I temporarily have the IET sensor. I got one off a 2000 Camaro because I forgot to order the one through ECU Masters. This looks close enough. I just have it sitting here for the time being. And have it into the two wires on the mass airflow plug uh, that are for air intake temp sensor about around the vacuum line from the throttle body or the intake manifold to the emu that way it's got uh 
the map sensor. Then I'm going to get the laptop out here and try to build a base map for it. So, if anyone's doing this, it's very pretty simple. Uh, as far as where this is, the other day I unbolted the cover. It's in the back seat right there. That's down here. Now I have the EMU sitting in the factory location. There's the USB for plugging the laptop up. See the vacuum nipple right there. And guys, I gotta say, I, I forgot about going speed density and needing air intake temp sensor. And I reached out to ECU Masters, and within five minutes they were they were me they messaged me right back, told me what I needed. Very helpful, very straightforward people. Would recommend to anyone. Um, again, I probably you know would have went to the ECU Black if there was you know. If I've seen a reason in it, but the classic should do everything I need to do to get this car turbo one day. So we're going to get a vacuum line ran, get the computer out here, and see if we can't build a base map for this 2JZ to start up. Stay tuned. Took a little bit of doing, but I got the uh, vacuum line run through the firewall. I just pulled a grommet out right behind the HVAC thing. I know it's going to be real close to the exhaust. So I'm going to change this over to some kind of uh, metal metal pipe at some point this is just temporary i'm just gonna put it somewhere over here on the intake manifold that way it's reading and then i'm gonna go inside and get the laptop and see if i can't figure out how to make this thing have a base map i gotta find a decent one of these things to tee into or just completely do away with for the time being because i don't need any of the egr stuff anymore <sighs> so we'll hook the vacuum line up for it and Continue to push. I'm excited. I'm excited. Doing all this in the freaking rain. Getting wet. Sucks. But we'll keep pushing and see if we can't make it do something here in a little bit. I'm getting the ECU and everything loaded into the car. Nolan's doing a build of his own. Nolan, want to show him what you got? Show him the box. This kid does these Legos so quick. Went to start him a YouTube channel. I'm going to call it Nolan's Builds. So it's a Ford Raptor. It's the Lego Technique or Technic. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. How many pieces is it? Uh, that one is uh, 1,379 pieces. And he's been on it for how long have you been doing this? Like an hour? Maybe two. Something like that. He's got a small pile left to go. You gotta check this out. It's a, you know, the twin turbo eco boost. Oh, wait, no, I got a lot more to go, Daddy. Oh, he's got another bag over there. Look at that. There's like a whole bunch of bags still here, Daddy. Uh, like the rear wheel as it turns, which is kind of neat. The engine itself will rotate. Huh. All right. Just wanted to show Nolan. Proud of my boy. He's getting it done. He's got a couple of these cars. He's got the Koenigsegg, this, and what other Technic do you have? Um, The Koenigsegg is in a Technic. Yes, it is. It's the sign? Yes, it is. It's the, on the box. It's Technic? Yes. Oh, it's on the box. Hey. Um, I have the McLaren Senna. Okay, they got it's the Senna. The I think it's the British version, though, because it has the British flag on it. Well, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. Let's get back to the Lexus. Nolan, you continue your build. Good job. I'm going to continue my little install so I can get this tune uploaded that I just found on ECU Master's website. Get the Lexus running so we can... Drive it to school one day. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's just something I'm not getting about it. I'm not sure what I got to do. I had the computer plugged in, which I got it unplugged right now. I've had this brought up, and I don't understand how to get it to write the tune because I was able to get the tune off of ECU Master's website, and I don't know how to make it write to the computer, which is very frustrating. It's getting dark. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow because it's not working right now. You see that beautiful South Georgia sunset? I just want to show you guys the the new thing that I got for the Lexus, which should make it a whole lot better. This will especially help us get there whenever we are turbo. We go KET. I'll never be able to outdo what this computer can handle, so that makes me very happy. 
But I will figure this software out. It's not too far off from all the others. Because I've played with Honda in the past. And I've played with Holly. And AEM. Maybe someone can reach out to me and help me figure this out. I don't know. Alright. Well, that'll be it for this episode. Not a Just wanted to show some of the stuff that we got. And we'll keep plugging from there. See you on the next one.